good mics. <laughs> he found a good one in uh, what the Tascam. Tascam. Tas yeah. Yes, Taz. Tascams are great too. Yeah. Okay, well we are live on Facebook, and then we'll also be on YouTube and Access TV a little bit later on. Uh, Santiago Brothers, how are you? We're good. We are good. Fine and wore out. That was a great, <laughs> fun show. Well, uh, I I tried to do some research on you guys. You guys are tougher to get a hold of than the president. Well, I can tell I was, you why. <laughs> I always try to research the interview. I couldn't find a Facebook. I couldn't find a Twitter. We are on you Facebook. You are like the, the vanishing <laughs> band. I'm like, they're like the, you're literally, there's another band called the Phantom Blues Band, but you're literally the Phantom Blues Band. Keep you on your toes. I'm going to find nothing on you guys. Wrong name. So, I'm just going to ask some basic questions. How did you guys get started? Well, a year and a half ago. Um, that's why we're relatively new and you haven't found us all over the place. Uh, we, even though we've been playing like crazy, we are on Facebook. Yeah. But uh, we're only a year and a half in and that goes so fast. But we have known each other through the lineage of just befriending each other through other bands. Yeah. And this is an improvisational, we've never had a practice. We call it up on stage and... Um, well, it, it looked like you have had a lot of practice. <laughs> but that's how we met through the, through the time. And, and so, uh, thinking back to when you guys got started and everything, um, what were your musical interests and everything that kind of brought this group together? Well, Craig here is a jazz guru. He's a jazz uh, professor at Washburn. Todd's in a reggae band, and I... No wonder he's doing music. He's got to pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. smokes. Yeah, you know, teaching, <laughs> teaching salaries ain't that great. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always been in blues and a songwriter, and um, I grabbed Craig, and he is just being melodic as heck. It's a whole different approach from jazz to this blues stuff, so yeah. I know he's getting off on it, because you got to think a whole different way. <laughs> and Todd, from the reggae thing, mixes his elements into this blues do, yes. if you will, and we kind of came up with our own little stylings. Um, grabbing from Dean Bowen Walker, just from the Texas guys, uh, West Coast, put a bit of a look at stew and, and write about life uh, happenings, I guess, if you will. That's cool. So we keep it real, and uh, the main thing is to create a pocket and a groove. Yes. So, so, uh, so tell me about the music scene, and what brought you guys to the festival today? You want to add to that? Well, I, you know, that we, I, I don't know what brought us to this. It, you know, we've been playing together, but I think, I think Greg's music, the way he writes, is it, it really attracts a, attracts a crowd because it's just very melodic, and yeah. I think people love listening to, to stuff that has melody to it. So, and it's easy to follow the saxophones. I mean, my job, he makes my job easy. <laughs> so when you have a great writer like he's doing, and I. And, um, I I think getting to this place, I think it's just from from people getting to hear us. You know, yeah. I think if you get to hear Greg's writing and his music, and and, 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 and both Todd and Joe, I mean, those guys uh, just know how to lay it down, and it just makes it easy for us to, you know, people. We seem to be attracting a lot more people as we go out and play more. So I think that's where we got and ended up here. So well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the latest album and what people should go grab. Well, we have. We've been writing like crazy, and we have probably five albums worth of stuff just sitting there. And the, the deal is, is it's process. Uh, it takes some cash. Yes. So oh, we're just a year and a half <laughs> in, so um, we're really hit it early, actually. Hopefully winter or spring we'll have some funds put together to put together a nice package, at least yeah. one one album to start with, and uh, we'll just go from there. That's cool. Um, yeah, now, if I were to look at your guys' iPods or music collection, would I be shocked by anything that you're listening to? Well, how about you? Goodness. You might I be know. shocked by mine. And I know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We'll start with him. Yeah. Get, get a, oh, man. Um, just, I'm, I'm really turned on by the, those pocket drummers. Those cats that aren't real athletic, so I kind of listen for that type of thing. Your Freddie B. Lowe's, your Steve Jordan's, those type of guys. Um, but really just asking these cats, hey, what, what are you hearing? And, uh, Trying to take bits and pieces from everything you hear, whether it's it can be anything. I went on tour with a Chicago guy called Little Mike, and I'm really into Chicago blues right little? now. Is he, little? he 
was yes, on the end. but his talent was, <laughs> is huge. He's from Florida, and I kind of spawned me into listening to a lot more Chicago. And I'm, I listen back to our recordings, and I grab jazz elements from, from Craig's runs are just, have so, they have bebop elements, but yet he stays so melodic and and supports the song in a fashion that just ex, explodes, explodes it into an artistic piece. Uh, I don't know, you got spinning on home right now. Well, I, you know, I listen to, well, Lena Horne, uh, a lot of Nancy Wilson. I listen to a lot of jazz vocalists for, for melodic yeah. texture and uh, and then uh, big bands. And, and then you would probably see some uh, Tower of Powers, Funk, yeah. and then I and then some T-Bone Walk. I've been oh, listening to their fair record. Yeah. We all uh, we got hooked dance. up on that. But, uh, I, I, I just love music, so if you looked at my, it would have yeah. a variety of everything. Not just cool. not just one aspect, you know. I'm not just just a blues or a rock or I'm, it's everything. I just love music. So. Yeah. so why do you think people are so into your music? Because you guys were going out. Well, there. I think it's organic. I think it, you create a, a story that everybody can latch onto that that they live to, and a hook and a chord structure that supports that. Well, you guys are hook. amazing. And uh, I think that's it. it. Yeah. It was the hell of a deal. Thank, Thank you very much. Now tell me about the last song you brought up. You, 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 you're you like a, you remind me of a Seinfeld episode. Everything kind of comes around at the end it's and you have the next artist ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we call it Kawa. We call this little girl, I bet she was five years old from on the last gig. We like to include people. And, and cool. if there's anything you can take from one of our shows, it's some happiness. Yeah. And it's a tough world right now and, and that's kind of our M.O. is it's just cool. that. Well, before we let you guys go, how do we find you online so people can get a hold of you? Santiago Brothers Blues. It's that blues at the end, which is probably why he was hiding. True story. Uh, I found Facebook. these two little Puerto Rican guys that were the Santiago Brothers. Yeah, you know. When I got here, I'm like, none of them are We joked Rican. about that. that. <laughs> it's a very spiritual name, and that's why we grabbed it. <laughs> Facebook is the place to go. Santiago okay. Brothers Blues. Blues. Yep. Okay. That, tag that blues on the Well, I will, I will go back in and change it because... Right now, if the, if the actual Santiago brothers are watching us live on Facebook, they're like, who the hell are these three? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the real Santiago brothers. Yeah, yeah. Joe, fix it. Joe's Santiago not here, but he's... Blue. Yeah. yeah. But well, he's not Puerto Rican either. No, <laughs> so, he's North Korean. That's <laughs> 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 Well, gentlemen, I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you very much. Chat.